The apex of Norman power came with Roger's son, Roger II. After his elder brother Simon died, Roger II was next in line for the throne. Whilst his father was only the Count of Sicily, Roger II, being also the ruler of Ampulia and Calabria besides Sicily, wanted a grander title than a mere Count. He was eventually crowned King, King of Sicily, on Christmas Day, 1130 in Palermo. His main distinction is to have united all the Norman conquests in Italy into one kingdom, under a strong central government. The Norman kingdom, now, was seeking new lands to include in its sphere of influence, and Roger II was the man to achieve this. In a few years, he captured Tripoli, Sfax, Mahtia, Sus, Gerba, and all the cities adjacent to them. The Norman takeover of Malta isolated the Maltese dialect from mainstream Arabic and evolved quickly into a distinct language. Latin was only used for official correspondence and thus the Arabic dialect was widespread on the island. Malta at the time was described in documents as a Saracenis inhabitata, inhabited by Saracens. After the death of Roger II in 1154, the Norman influence started to decline and the once almighty Norman kingdom started to fade. Here came the end of an era. He was succeeded by his fourth son, William I, who within four years managed to lose all North African conquests to revolts and to the Almohad Arabs' power. When William died in 1166, at the age of 35, he barely was on the throne for 12 years, and his 11-year-old son William II succeeded him. Under William II, the Latin Christian features of the Kingdom of Sicily became more and more prominent. When he died in 1189 with no children, his uncle Tancred I took the throne. He was also the son of Roger II. Suddenly, the Christians of Palermo attacked the Muslim quarter and Muslim militias were formed. Castles were seized and a full blown insurrection developed. Tancred died in 1194, only five years after becoming king, and the only heir to the throne was his four year old son William III. This was the end of the Norman dynasty. The future of all the achievements of the great Count Roger and his son Roger II lay in the succession of William III, grandson of Roger II. One German man was strong enough to determine the politics of the time. The man who ruled all the regions of present-day Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria and Northern Italy. The Holy Roman Emperor, Henry VI. It was he who claimed the throne of Sicily, and the reason was that he was married to the daughter of Roger II, Constance. To remove any contenders for the throne, he made sure William will not be in his way. The end of William III is a gruesome one, and a terrible sore in the history of Sicily. On Henry's orders, the young child was blinded, castrated, and probably died in captivity at the age of eight. It is very sad that the grandson of the greatest Norman of the Sicilian adventure, Roger II, had such a macabre end. The Emperor, King Henry VI, and Roger II's daughter, Constance, the last heir of the Norman lineage, gave birth to a son, Frederick II. Frederick was to be known as Stupir Mundi, wonder of the world, and he was the absolute ruler of a vast empire, including the Holy Roman Empire and the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. He was the product of two of the most important families of the time. In other words, the amalgamation of the German Hohenstaufen dynasty and the Norman House of Hauteville. The love for Roger's conquest of the Maltese inhabitants carried on creating stories which are still known today. Legend has it that when he landed in Malta, he cut his flag in half and gave it to the Maltese as their own. Unfortunately, this is probably not true but shows the admiration of the Maltese people for centuries and the cultural legacy of the great Count Roger and his conquest of the Maltese islands. 
The statue of Count Roger the Conqueror in Rabat is used every year in the village feast, and the mass for the repose of the soul of Roger the Norman is still celebrated to this day, on November the 4th, every year at Endina Cathedral. Politically and religiously, the Normans left an unequivocal mark on the Maltese islands. Thus, the Europeanization of Malta and its firm place in the geopolitics of today had its roots with the invasion of Malta of Count Roger and his men. An immensely important instance in our history, which will never be forgotten. Thank you.